family, friends, and guests, welcome to the 301st Commencement Exercises at Bowling Green State University. Let the ceremony begin. Our commencement tradition is to begin each ceremony with Sounds of Centennial, an original music composition written by BGSU alumnus Ryan Nowlin. This piece was commissioned to celebrate the centennial of Bowling Green State University. Please rise and join us in honoring our summer graduates.
In keeping with the significance of this monumentous occasion, we ask today's attendees to observe several courtesies. To our audience and guests, please do not enter the commencement area or obstruct the movement of today's participants. A professional photographer will be taking pictures of our graduates. In honor of our graduates, please also silence your cell phones. In addition, we ask our audience and guests to remain seated for the recessional while the platform participants, faculty, staff, and new alumni recess. Once the graduates leave the seating area at the conclusion of our commencement exercise, you may join them at a reception tent near the northeast corner of the Bowen Thompson Quadrant by Mosley Hall. Upon leaving, you are invited to explore campus with your graduate. Parking is free. To our graduates, please follow the directions of the commencement marshals and ushers. If you prefer to shake hands on stage, the president and provost are willing. Hand sanitizer is available near the stage and graduate seating area. Also, please follow all COVID-19 health and safety protocols during and after this event. BGSU continues to work with the Wood County Health Department to comply with guidance and orders. Due to COVID-19, BGSU is providing a physically distant seating section to those who may need it near McFall Center. In addition, following the ceremony, you are invited to visit bgsu.edu forward slash commencement for a website that highlights today's commencement and time at BGSU. Thank you. Please join us in welcoming representatives of the faculty of Bowling Green State University. Please welcome the President's Platform Party. Board of Trustees Vice Chair and Alumna, Marilyn Isley. Undergraduate Student Trustee, Joshua Auten. Dean of University Libraries and Vice Provost for Faculty Affairs, Sarah Bouchon. Faculty Senate Representative, Dr. Robin Miller. Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic and Student Affairs, Dr. Joe Whitehead, and the 12th President of Bowling Green State University and alumnus, Dr. Rodney Rogers.
We now invite Bowling Green State University's U.S. Air Force ROTC Detachment 620 to present America's Colors. Please remain standing for the national anthem under the leadership of vocalist Annabelle Poliard, a graduate student in the College of Musical Arts. Gentlemen, please remove your hats. So proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming. Good morning. I am Dr. Melissa Miller, professor in the College of Arts and Sciences, and I have the honor of serving as University Marshal for today's ceremony. I want to thank Ms. Pollard and Bowling Green State University's U.S. Air Force ROTC Detachment 620 for their performance of our national anthem. Please be seated. It is my pleasure, on behalf of the faculty, to officially welcome you to the 301st commencement exercises of Bowling Green State University. This occasion offers an opportunity to come together as a community of learners to both celebrate and reflect upon our graduates' many accomplishments. For each graduate and for all of us, this is a significant day. It is now my pleasure to introduce the 12th president of Bowling Green State University, Dr. Rodney Rogers. Thank you, Dr. Miller. Good morning, summer 2021 graduates, parents, families, spouses, partners, friends, and special guests of Bowling Green State University. Today, we are here to celebrate a very momentous occasion in the lives of 1,049 graduates. And it is my privilege to begin today's address by recognizing those who provide the leadership at Bowling Green State University. So first, let me introduce the platform party. As I announce the names, please stand and remain standing, and I will ask that you hold your applause until the end. Members of the Board of Trustees, Vice Chair Marilyn Isley, Undergraduate Student Trustee Joshua Otten, Sarah Bouchong, Vice Provost for Faculty Affairs and Dean of University Libraries, Robin Miller, Faculty Senate Representative, Joe Whitehead, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic and Student Affairs. 
I would also like to introduce the deans of our academic colleges who led each of their graduates into, during the procession. Alexander Goberman, Interim Dean of the Graduate College. Dawn Chenu, Dean of the College of Education and Human Development. Dale Klopfert, Associate Dean of the College of Arts and Science. Raymond Braun, Dean of the Allen W. and Carol M. Schmidhorst College of Business. James Cisla, Dean of the College of Health and Human Services. William Mathis, Dean of the College of Musical Arts. Jenny Gallimore, Dean of the College of Technology, Architecture, and Applied Engineering. Andrew Kurtz, Dean of the Faculty of the Firelands College. Let's give these individuals a round of applause. You know, great universities are comprised of great faculty. They are at the heart of our academic mission. Their teaching skills, research, creative activities, academic expertise, and involvement in our students' education are the hallmark of, BGSU, of the BGSU experience. And so that I ask that our faculty members and staff members that are here today representing all of our fac fac faculty and staff, would you please stand and be recognized? Thank you. So, 530 days ago, our world changed. I'm sure each of you may remember where you were when, then, when current Governor Mike DeWine announced a state of emergency because of COVID-19. You know, we didn't know much then as, as um, various shel states sheltered in place. We needed to adapt. Here at Bowling Green, we moved classes online. Um, back then, we brought students that were studying abroad. We brought them back home. We moved students out of their res halls. I, I'm sure you all remember logging into some of your first WebEx or Zoom sessions, perhaps. Uh, some of us did all kinds of things to, to entertain ourselves. Uh, at, m at my house, we baked bread. My wife really got into baking bread there for a while. Uh, we all binged on our Netflix, uh, perhaps, shows. We did virtual tours of museums. We took up just about every imaginable solo hobby that's possible to stay busy. You might have those memories. But we also recognize beyond this global pandemic, this has been an incredibly difficult time locally, nationally, and across the globe. And all of us have been impacted in different ways, without a doubt. And while today is absolutely about a celebration and recognizing the amazing accomplishments of each of you, we also thought it was fitting to take a moment of silence to recognize the loss and sorrow that many of us may have experienced the, during this time. So let's just take a moment, if, if you will. Thank you. However, in spite of all of those issues this past academic year and a half, we came together. We had in-person and virtual options, and while not perfect, we found a way to ensure that Bowling Green State University continued to serve our students together. And throughout this past year, at times, it was so hard to imagine us gathering again to celebrate this past spring and now this summer our commencements. 530 days. This global pandemic has certainly taught us so much. You know, not just as individuals, but as a community and as a university. We also know that we must own this legacy to which we belong. And so I just want to start off with a simple message to our summer 2021 graduates, our faculty and staff, you did it. Against significant challenges, you found a way forward. Together, we should be so proud of your accomplishments as we move forward.
begin our ceremony, I want to share a few additional statistics and facts about our summer 2021 graduates. So I'm pleased to report that our graduates and their classmates spent a great deal of time studying and doing research at the library. I have been told that you downloaded 2,862,321 research articles and there were more than 144,238 visits to the learning community. This past year, 26,882 COVID-19 tests were administered and 13,327 vaccine shots were provided to those who wanted to be vaccinated. You know, we tried to calculate the number of Zoom and WebEx meetings and Microsoft Teams meetings, but uh, quite honestly, there were too many, so we couldn't figure that one out. However, according to our chief information officer, you consumed 325,987 terabytes of data on our Wi-Fi. That's a lot. Uh, I wonder how many of that might have been watching Netflix, Hulu, or Disney Plus. But, uh, but we also know studying takes fuel, and BGSU Dining tells me our graduates ate a lot. Uh, over the past four years, our students consumed nearly 285,000 pizzas. And I might add that more than 2.3 million hours were spent at the rec center. Maybe there's a link there. I don't know. You know, we're celebrating the accomplishments of a great group of graduates this weekend. And as a public university for the public good, you have created public good by recognizing the importance of paying it forward. Those involved in student life and in our signature co-curricular activities averaged over 94,000 community service hours each year. And in this past year alone, our students raised merely, uh, more than a half a million dollars to support nonprofit organizations. The value of your Bowling Green degree that you are about to receive has never been higher. We continue to be ranked as a tier one university by US News and World Report, and in back-to-back -back years, the Wall Street Journal ranked BGSU number three of America's public universities from all public universities in America for teaching quality, number three, and number one for student satisfaction right here in the Midwest. We thank you for your support of Bowling Green. So at Bowling Green, we believe that our students absolutely have the opportunity to belong, to stand out, and go far. And that's more than just words, it is our promise. <clears throat> and this graduating class certainly demonstrates that promise. In total, as I mentioned, there are 1,049 degrees that we are celebrating this weekend. 16% of our graduates are students of color. 60% are women. There are 63 international students representing 22 countries. We have an 18-year-old receiving an undergraduate degree. We have a 67-year-old receiving a bachelor's degree, a 27-year-old, and a 62-year-old receiving doctoral degrees. So as you can see, our graduates include both the young and the young at heart. You are diverse. You come from small towns, suburbs, big cities. You are from different parts of Ohio, the United States, and from all over the world. Some of you have completed your degree completely online, and I know that this may be your first time on campus, and you're meeting your colleagues and classmates face-to-face -face for the first time. However, each of you have one thing in common. You all found the university where you could belong. You found your place at Bowling Green, in the classroom or the laboratories, in the residence halls or in clubs and student organizations, in Greek life or on the athletic fields, you made Bowling Green your community and your home. And graduate students, you have found your place in the Bowling Green community as well, of course. You've worked with faculty and mentors. You've conducted original research, created and taught and guided our undergraduate students. You have contributed greatly to the success of this learning community. And that you are sitting here today illustrates that you have thrived at Bowling Green. 
You have found purpose, followed your passion, and stood out. You have embraced the unique Bowling Green learning experience, developing leadership skills throughout your journey. And as a Falcon, you have learned to think beyond the discoveries made by others and have empowered your imagination to shape your future to pursue new levels of excellence. You have the knowledge and tools to always find a way forward. So now, in recognition of your many accomplishments, I will now like to ask a number of students to stand and be recognized. Many of you have grown through experiential learning and co-curricular involvement. These types of experiences have prepared you to stand out. So if you have studied abroad, participated in a learning community, completed an internship or co-op, got involved in service learning, conducted undergrad research, or have taken part in an opportunity that has provided you with leadership education, including student organizations, academic honoraries, advisory boards, athletic residence education, student government, and teaching or research assistantships, if you've been involved in any of these activities, would you please stand and be recognized? That demonstrates your commitment and, and the ability that you are doing to drive this learning community. Thank you so much. And so finally, I'd like to recognize the heroic services of our United States veterans and active members of the armed forces who are graduating today. Would you please stand and be recognized? Thank you, and thank you for your service. Earning your degree places you in a very select group of people. Less than 7% of the world's population has a bachelor's degree or higher. You have earned it, but with your degree comes immense responsibility. You see, not only have you invested in your education, not only has your family and, and perhaps friends have invested in your education, but by attending a public university, the citizens and taxpayers and residents of the state of Ohio and the nation have invested in you. Now, not one of us has gotten to where we are without the support of others. And for our graduates, a lot of people have helped you during your time here at Bowling Green, but even before you arrived and during this journey. So in the spirit of our 1987 commencement speaker, Mr. Fred Rogers, Yes, Mr. Rogers was here in 1987, and so I'm going to ask, as he did, to take 10 seconds, just 10 seconds, I want you to take 10 seconds to think about all of the people who have helped you to get to this point, who supported you, who were in your corner. 10 seconds, I'll track the time. Thank you. Now, the people you thought about made a difference in your life. And I am sure many of them are here today. And it is my pleasure to honor them. So would the parents, spouses, partners, children, grandparents, family members, friends, and anyone else who has assisted these graduates, would you please stand if you're able and be recognized? Graduates, let's applaud them, please. In closing, and before I invite our Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic and Student Affairs, Dr. Joe Whitehead, to the podium to share some remarks and recommend our candidates for degrees, I want to speak directly to our graduates. So please allow me a few minutes for one last piece of advice. So um, I ask you to be kind. 
The world needs more kindness. Don't forget to be kind. Continue to work hard. Be curious before you judge. Ask questions. Be curious before you judge. You know, don't be afraid to tackle messy challenges. You're going to have messy challenges. We global pandemic is one example, but but you'll have messy challenges. Don't don't shy away from it. I, I encourage you to collaborate with others, learn from others, take calculated risks, but more importantly, uh, have fun. Don't forget to have fun, but never ever stop learning. If you do all of those things, you will absolutely do well, but you will also do good. Graduates, congratulations. Good morning. As Provost and Chief Academic Officer of Bowling Green State University, I have the honor to recommend our graduates for their degrees. However, before I do that, I recognize for our graduates in attendance, this is a moment of, one re of reflection. Think of your journey since your admission to Bowling Green State University to the last final exam or project. As a student, you've experienced and witnessed so much during your time here whether you have been here for four years, two years, or even studied completely online, we thought it would be fitting to share some highlights with you. Congratulations, BGSU graduates. It's been a great four years with so many moments to remember. Since we welcomed you at Freshman Convocation, you and the university have soared. We renewed our commitment to old traditions. Finished building on a new one. Said goodbye to an old one. And you found a place where you will always belong. We welcomed new friends and displayed our pride with a new campus landmark. You danced, biked, and shaved for charity. Nearly a dozen new Falcons joined the family, and new business ideas were hatched. There were MAC championships, Big seasons, and that's a ball game. Bowling Green. big that's wins, in the of I a return to national prominence, and national championships. We eclipsed our peers in national rankings. and the sun followed suit. There were some long winters, but we had fun. We served to remember Dr. King's legacy. Honored Bob and Ellen Thompson, BGSU's most generous philanthropists. Celebrated a gift that will transform our future and raised a record amount of support for our next chapter. We created new innovative partnerships, programs, and facilities to help meet workforce needs. And our research served the public good, working to address the critical issues facing the world. Most importantly, we are sending our BGSU graduates soaring to serve the world and lead meaningful and productive lives. Congratulations. It is now time for the recommendation of candidates for degrees. I call upon the interim dean of the Graduate College, Dr. Alexander Goberman, to present the doctoral and master's candidates. Thank you, Provost Whitehead. President Rogers and members of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty of the Graduate College, 
and the academic degree granting colleges, I am pleased and honored to present the doctoral and master's candidates and to recommend them for degrees. Each doctoral candidate will be escorted by a faculty mentor or advisor and will be invested with a hood that is symbolic of the highest of academic degrees. Mary T. Moeller, being hooded by Dr. Katherine Stein. Aaron Beth Dulek also hooded by Dr. Katherine Stein. <laughs> Elizabeth Emley, hooded by Dr. Katherine Stein. Hannah Rose Corton, hooded by Dr. Eric Dubow. Mercedes Pratt, hooded by Dr. Carolyn Thompson. Cynthia Colburn, hooded by Dr. Carolyn Thompson. Claire E. Smith, hooded by Drs. Margaret Brooks and Claire Barrett. Anna Christine Gravelin, hooded by Dr. Jason Whitfield. Isaac Zoese Oklu, hooded by Dr. Hanfeng Chen. Patrick Stewart, hooded by Dr. Wei Ning. Seema Shargi, hooded by Dr. Wei Ning. Elizabeth Howe Hust, hooded by Dr. Susan Brown.
Kyle Jordan Barsh, hooded by Ta Dr. Thomas Moen. Suzavan Roy Chowdhury, hooded by Dr. Peter Liu. Sepeda Farshbaf, hooded by Dr. Peter Liu. Mayokan Joshua Ayodele, hooded by Dr. Peter Liu. Tanya Viriter, hooded by Dr. Frederick Bussell. Amy Jean Burns, hooded by Dr. Lisa Hanasono. <laughs> Lewis H. Moore III, hooded by Dr. Joshua Grubbs. Joseph Aaron Rosansky, hooded by Dr. Joshua Grubbs. Brianna Chanel Robinson, hooded by Dr. Amanda Koba. Andrea Marie Hauser, hooded by Dr. Maureen Wilson. <laughs> Joanna Marie Johnson Lime, hooded by Dr. Vicki Crane. Jacqueline Patrice Hudson, hooded by Dr. Catherine Mizell. Karen Carlton Ebach, hooded by Dr. Patrick Pockin. Rachel Lauren Punches Flick, hooded by Dr. Judith May. Ariel Magno da Costa, hooded by Dr. Laura Melton. Randy Lynn Meyer, hooded by Dr. Neil Baird.
We now begin the candidates for master's degrees. Jennifer Crawford. Rachel Ann Crowell. Kudus Tigas Gebertinse. Shadaranga Kumara Senavirda Tane. Daniel Sakami Oladepo. Muhammad Rahil Malik. Betsy Suzanne Spear. Renee Oswald Ayala. Jared Winters Miller. Talisa Lily Lemke. Tristan Layton. Devin Michael Elliott. Emma Irene Studer Perez. Catherine Gwyneth Parnell. Richard A. Ambert Torres. Daniel J. Vetter. John Mayer Mora King. Ope Alua Favor Iwa Leke. Adenike Shitu. Ola Dien Ola Bukola Abiona. Oleambo Teomande Oya Lari. Oleyenko Abdullahi Oladoso. Angela C. Kramer. Jacob Serena. Ab Abigail Kadmenik. Garrett Solomon Shearer. Jared Scott Poor. Brandon Joseph Lundeen. Rachel Ashley Lundeen. Caleb Joseph Reyes. Aaron Edward Bitts. Joshua Richard Tyree. Carlos Enrique Gomez. Jarrett Salvo. Vikash Ranjan. Zachary T. Brunsman. Nathan Richard Deutschman. <laughs> Olivia Nicole Kaufman. Robin Claire Moss. Holly Lynn Palmer Wright. Morgan Elizabeth Day. NG Wael Rothhaust. Brian Thomas Lynch. Nathan Alexander Lohmeyer. Colin Michael Spader. Peyton Anthony Fosco. Todd William Fichter. Malik Andre Osborne. 
Tyler Allen Kelly. Danielle M. Doherty. Reagan Sue Carmon. Drew Joseph Holland. Nicholas Howard Ice. Shane Isaac Hershizer. Claire Elaine Gloniak. Cody Tyler Briggs. Casey Leigh Chubek. Grant Winston Hinshaw. Valerie Prunty. Garrett D. Kudzia. Grant David Kudzia. Kristen Taylor Steed. Drew Haley Peterson. Catherine Elizabeth Deal. Rama Hamal. Kishira Reed. John A. Bertka, Jr. Mackenzie Ann Varner. Colin Michael Seitz. Ayumi Sasaki. Carly Jean Smith. Alexis, Alexis Lynn Smith. Vincent Charles Nikowski. Joseph Michael Vasiloff. Adam Oldag. Mara Lynn Cavella. Olivia C. Daysher. Rama Patan. Ryan Glenn Upton. Saeed Haider Ali. Nicole Taylor Neely. Sarah Elizabeth Brown Sabo, whose degree is being conferred by Dustin Sabo, Associate Director of Admissions, her husband. Lauren Deal. Anthony Ray Fox whose diploma is presented by his wife, Lori Fox, academic advisor. Christina M. Hrine. Kyle E. Lenderman. Allison Renee Rudder. Thomas J. Rudder. Serain Sawani Scott. Sandra Messenberg. Preet Kaur Flora. Sierra Brianna Clark. Raymond C. Somich II. Wadzana Admire Goranga. David J. Diepenbrook. Erica Lindsay Bishop. Katiana Nicole Peña Rios. 
Yara and Martinez Quinones. Elvin Pablo Hernandez Candelario. Jorge Luis Melendez. Jacob Kirkwood Pelton. Gabe T. Smythe. Anna Margaret Chalkley. Allison Nicole Schwarzbeck. Jenna Mackenzie Carmen. Michael Anthony Ware. Danielle R. Neal. Heather Catherine Schaller. Delaney McKay Reisner. Allison Nicole Gardner. Megan Elizabeth Ritter. Zachary Craig Durliat. Aaron Charles Wheeler. Aaron Michael Price. Nicholas Robert Elsa. Benjamin Aaron Tuttle. Bijan Fayaz. Emily Rose Alderman. Monique Deshay Hughley. Kevin Gregor. Mariah Cullison. Belgeet Kaur. Sharon A. Brooks. Morgan Henning. Ethan Pina. Colin Michael Fayok. April Carmona Mejia. Christopher Allen Powell. Rebecca L. Parks. Ashley Marie Gunther. Ida Gasmifard. Ishmael Horleyami. Paola Andrea Mortali. Ryan Andrew Myers. Nicholas John Wawi IV. Somaya Ganapu Reddy. Leela Nopani. Magdalene Jean Markham. Amber Lynn Reno. Niha Baban Gaukwad. Glenn Robert Beach. Sarah Hope Beamer. Adriana Lynn Aldrich. Sarah Nicole Glick. Julia Marie McCabot. Noah Evan Brown. Shea Marie Napziger. Tyler Maxwell Wallen. Megan Ann Thompson. Mercedes Elizabeth Over. 
Rhiannon Olivia Barlos. Catherine Ann Kotoru. Miranda Page Paris. Anthony E. Dauk. Samuel Corasales. Jennifer Marie Dyer. Catherine Elizabeth Patia. Bailey Marie Moore. Victoria Custer Welschenbach. Anna Lauren, Annie Lauren Mosdale. Margaret E. Logwood. Catherine Neville. Samantha Therese P.T. Becca Ann Schwiefert. Heather K. Crum. Jenna Lanice Bachmeyer. Danielle Nicole Lasko. Hope Denise Strobel. Jacqueline Elizabeth Samuels. Samantha Emily Reef. Stevie Marie Willie. Jalen Desiree Cameron. Tajane Mari Carrington. Megan Nicole Hardcastle. Jessica Smithers. Jessica's, Jessica's diploma will be given by her mother-in-law, Barb Smithers, instructor in educational psychology. Marissa A. Taylor. Nicole Elizabeth Price. Kalfani A. Rice. Serena Lynn Newberger. Edith Movetsi Katya. Diana Tadala Kajasiche. Abayome Samuel Abudunrin. Monique Marie Hampton. Lisa Marie Moyer. Caitlin Marie Smith. Delaney Michelle Sherman. Catherine Grace Climate. Keith Alexander Gillespie. Rebecca Lynn Scatine. Andrea Michelle Sudlasik. Nathaniel Thompson Fraker. Lauren Mary Amir, Amir Hamsa. Allison May Thompson. Madison Sue Kiefer. Stacy Marie Jewell. Laura Suzanne Reinhardt. Judah Nicholas Weeks. Brent Adam Hopper. Carrie J. Wilson. This concludes the recognition of the doctoral 
and master's candidates. Thank you, Dean Goberman. Before I call upon our deans to present our undergraduate candidates, I would like to recognize those students who have excelled in their academic endeavors and are graduating with academic distinction and honors. This is indeed a great achievement for our, these graduates and their families. Bowling Green State University congratulates you for your commitment and for your success. And so I recognize the following students. There are 109 students receiving degrees with Latin honors this commencement at Bowling Green. To graduate cum laude, a student must have a cumulative grade point average of at least 3.5. Would those students graduating with the distinction of cum laude please stand and be recognized? Thank you. To graduate magna cum laude, a student must have a grade point average of 3.75. Would those graduating with the distinction of magna cum laude please stand and be recognized? Thank you. And finally, to graduate with the distinction of summa cum laude requires a 3.9 grade point average. Would those graduating with the distinction of summa cum laude please stand and be recognized? Thank you. Congratulations to all our students who are graduating with Latin honors. Bowling Green is proud to recognize graduates who complete their entire un collegiate undergraduate experience with a perfect 4.0 GPA. A select group of eight students have received this honor and are wearing special medallion in recognition of this award. With those graduating with the distinction of, of the President's Award, please stand and be recognized. Thank you and congratulations. In addition, I am pleased to recognize the outstanding achievement of our students who have, honored, who have been honored through Phi Beta Kappa, Phi Kappa Phi, and who are in the Honors College. Phi Beta Kappa and Phi Kappa Phi are each one of the world's leading academic honor societies. Only about 10% of higher, higher education institutions in the world have both Phi Beta Kappa and Phi Kappa Phi chapters and Bowling Green State University is one such institution. Students earning university honors today have completed designated coursework and an honors project, which includes independent research. These students must maintain a 3.5 grade point average or higher in all of their coursework. They are wearing an honors medallion, a symbol of their academic success. With our Phi Beta Kappa, Phi Kappa Phi, and University Honors candidates, please rise and be recognized. Thank you. BGSU was founded in 1910 as a normal school, fo focusing on teaching and education. More than 111 years later, we have significantly grown to nine academic colleges. To honor where we began, we will present our undergraduate candidates in order, of their, in order in which our colleges were founded. I now call upon Dean Don Chenu to present the candidates for baccalaureate degrees from the College of Education and Human Development. Thank you, Provost Whitehead. President Rogers and members of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Education and Human Development, I am pleased and present, proud to present these candidates and recommend them for degrees. Bradley Adam Gubernath. Morgan Lee, Morgan Lay Pratcher. 
Addison Renee Miller. Autumn B. Fisher. Sydney Morgan Lassiter. Lauren Nicole Jackson. Hallie Marie Vavras, cum laude. R.L. Atim Moore. Christopher Andrew Kyler. Ryan M. Mitchell. Grace Elizabeth Carmel. Megan Elizabeth Borger. Kyle Jacob Mikesell. Annie Holy. Haley Ann Davis. Connor Scott Spencer. Samantha Fromette. Emily Ruth Crook. Emily Ann Fackler. Paige Ann Zombori. Emma Suzanne Nunemaker. Delaney Elizabeth Brown. Griffin D. Waltmeyer. <laughs> Kayla E. Tom. <laughs> Alyssa Yvonne Rizzo, magna cum laude. Keziah Pate. <laughs> Rachel Mackenzie Watt. Cody Thomas Stultz. Tyler Ryan Nutt. Cameron Claire Berger. Olivia Lauren Larrabee. Morgan Lee Snyder. Jessica M. Grady. Katherine Grace Bryan. Sydney Marie Davis, cum laude. Emily Louisa Weisenmayer. Jessica Sierra Graves. Elijah Michael McKnight. Laura Van Delme Mosler, summa cum laude. Zachary Daniel Heckenberg. Max Anthony Luton, cum laude. Caleb W. Schultz. Brady Lee Dietrich. Wade Ryan Quintana. John Andrew Matakovich. Drew Lauren Westmeyer. Ayla Ann Marie Arrington. Mallory Renee Hart. Gina Ann Lambert. Madison Marie Spangenberg. Noah Michael Mahaffey. Alyssa Hernandez. China Taraya Ross. Edwin James Prime Orr. Abigail Lynn Tile. 
Kayla Jo Teeters. Bryn Lisbeth Parker, magna cum laude. Anna Christine Smith. Clara Kim Frederick. Gwendolyn Marguerite Yaki, cum laude. K. Key Richardson, summa cum laude. Caitlin Elizabeth Meyer, magna cum laude. Kalia Nicole Lawson, magna cum laude. Nicholas, Nicholas Scott Nye. Courtney Lee Foster. Chioki Detrice Bradley. Alexis L. Steinberger. Julie Marie Montine. Sarah Bethany Blake. That concludes the candidates for the College of Education and Human Development. Good morning. My name is Dale Klopfer. I'm an associate dean in the College of the Arts and Sciences. President Rogers, members of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Arts and Sciences, I am pleased and honored to present these candidates and recommend them for degrees. Sarah Bethany Blake. Eric Christopher Ambrush. John Earl Norman III. Adrian! Benjamin Morris Caskey. Skylar Marie Eckhart. Carlos Josue Martinez. Brandon West Simmons. David Kyle Moore. Samantha Renee Meldon Narado. Griffin Riley Hopkins. Benjamin David Stemmen. Brian Ortoski. Audrey Carolyn Cuny. Hannah M. McCauley. Derek Michael Gunker. Jace C. Scockwell. Evan William Ball. Dylan Walker Ball. Hannah Cherry DeHart. Michael Colton Fetcher, cum laude. Michael Pendleton. Molly Louise Davidson. Matthew James Trayman. Neil Anthony Curry. Rachel Pauline Brewer. Carolyn Kate Bone, Magnum Culade. 
Hillary Murrell Smith, Hope Elizabeth Eller, Madeline Laura Conley Cum Laude, Michael Joseph Ziak, Clarence M. Reed. Jared William Anderson. Naham Zuri Burhi. Devin Jamal Walden. Ryan Ryder. Matthew Joseph Lamaster. Emma Joy Bloom. Kyle Marquise Lawson. Ale Al Taleb. Colton Flaherty. James D. Upshaw, Darius King, Joseph Herty, Madison J. Hayberger, Destiny Leanne Love, Blake Ann Donnelly. Evan Chadwick Brown. Alex John Wheeler, Magnum Culade. Kayla C. Fox. Christopher J. Colvin. John Lopez. Harmony Corrine Ross Kulade. Matthew Schimler. Caleb Pugh. Gabrielle Rollins. Maya Williams. Maya will be receiving her diploma from her father, Associate Professor Daniel E. Williams in the Department of Theater and Film, summa cum laude and university honors. Haley Fatzinger. Ashley Marie Lang. Davina Flores. Eric Brenton Ramsey. Todd Allen Kitzler II. Allen Joseph Gronert. Juliana Marie Showman. Michaela Nicole Shank. Nigel Latri Benning. Aja Naki Taylor. Zachary John Kennedy. Kali Bloomstadt. Brianna Lauren Adams. Unlea Jade Parrott. Amanda Fairbairn. This concludes the recognition of the bachelor's candidates for the College of Arts and Sciences.
Good morning. My name is Ray Braun, and I have the privilege of serving as the Dean of the Allen W. and Carol M. Schmidthorst College of Business. President Rogers, members of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty of the Allen W. and Carol M. Schmidthorst College of Business, I am pleased and honored to present the candidates and recommend them for degrees. Hannah Sue Salo. Ryan Taylor Cross. Kyle Anthony Clark. Jacob Patrick Everly, cum laude. Cy Frank, magna cum laude. Caitlin L. Nicholas. Lauren Taylor Boatfield, cum laude. Molly Catherine Gottschalk. Priya Bharat Raval. Daniel Allard Brown. Andrew Paul Sessler. Vanessa Michelle Brayman. Stephen William Schultz, cum laude. Lonnie D. Vaughn III. Ross Anthony Villella. Jamie Ryan Doyle, cum laude. Vincent Anthony Cusenza, cum laude. Jackson Walker, cum laude. Ying Chu. Jessica Louise Bragg, summa cum laude, University Honors. Scott A. McHenry. Cole Alexander Campman. Samantha P. Duncan, cum laude. Michael Richard Kopchu. Sydney Lee Stockmaster. Deja Mason. Nicholas Nartker. Jacob Keaton Reikley, cum laude. Nicholas David Summers. Joshua Allen Coleman. Cassandra Lynn Hastings. Christine Joy Vandalaria. This concludes the recognition of the bachelor's candidates for the Allen W. and Carol M. Schmidthorst College of Business. Good morning, I'm Dr. Jim Cecil, the Dean of the College of Health and Human Services. President Rogers and members of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Health and Human Services, I am pleased and honored to present these candidates and recommend them for degrees. Ivy, Elizabeth Ivy Hamilton. Cody Anthony Edward Best. Zavi Alexandria Cobb. Sarah May Steer, magna cum laude. Nicholas Allen Hinton. 
Scott Gregory Spies. James Michael Sheehan. Natalie Marie Schreffler. Cum laude and university honors. Jacob Allen Gill. Matthew Paul Wilson, cum laude and with distinction. Matthew's diploma is being presented by his mother, Allison Wilson, teaching professor, BGSU Firelands. Madison Leanne Grimsley, Madison's diploma presented by her aunt, Jennifer Wagner, assistant practitioner professor in gerontology. Marquise Arthur Lamar Hildreth. Jogger Joshua Desjardins. Jordan Mackenzie Strayer. Ashley Jean Rutherford, cum laude. Sean Allen Blakesley, summa cum laude. Samantha Lynn Need. James Donald Kramer. Brianna Rose Ingwerson. Paige Lindsay Kraft, summa cum laude. Danielle Marie Reyes. Jody K. Buerer. Mariah Lynn Bainbridge, cum laude. Michaela Elizabeth Bliss, cum laude. Morgan Elizabeth Urban. Alexis Marie Nazarini. Kelsey K. Ruff. Kiera Jean Marie Vincent. Noah Michael Ria, cum laude. Catherine Maria Dobbs. Chelsea Lee Antonia Newton. Cassidy Ann Steinmetz. Savannah Marie Carmona. Jenna Leanne Willie. Tholia Nieli Robles. Jeremar Manzano Castello. Germany Renee Tatum. Maria Christine Bernard. Kaylee Renee Fleischmann, cum laude. Connor Eugene Nice, magna cum laude. Georgia Pottis, magna cum laude. Marissa Grace Ulmer, summa cum laude. Maximilian Carl Sigworth. Nicholas Charles Green. Lashia Vang. Nicole A. Smith. Kimberly Lynn Walker. Marina Lynn Kimmel. Abigail Cook. Courtney Don Del Giudice. Kendra Raquel Hunt. Deanna Michelle Turner. Emily Ann Cooter.
Madison N. Hillard. Shamir Cheyenne Robertson. Janae Mary Faye Miles. Saprina L. Durr. Jeremy Miller. Micah Blevins. Aline Crawford Kaufman, cum laude. Gabriella Bryan. Noah Danielle Cronauer, AKA Freddie Falcon. Hope A. Young. Cecily M. Brown, magna cum laude and university honors. Lachelle Danielle Williams. Lachelle! Haley Marie Charbonneau, summa cum laude. Michaela E. Jackson, cum laude. <laughs> Brianna Renee Graham. Lauren Noel Casolonis. This concludes the candidates from the College of Health and Human Services. Good morning, my name is Bill Mathis, the Dean of the College of Musical Arts. President Rogers and members of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the member, faculty of the College of Musical Arts, I am pleased and honored to present these candidates and recommend them for degrees. Trey LaVon Washington. Woo! Jared Michael Sines. Oh, I'm sorry. Presented by his uncle Charles, Associate Dean, Professor of Trumpet in the College of Musical Arts. This concludes the recognitions of the bachelor's candidates for the College of Musical Arts. Good morning, I am Dr. Jenny Gallimore, Dean of the College of Technology, Architecture, and Applied Engineering. President Rogers and members of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Technology, Architecture, and Applied Engineering, I am pleased and honored to present these candidates and recommend them for degrees. Tom, Thomas John Montesanto. Patrick Francis Dirksmeyer. Ada Magalis Coto Rodriguez. Carlton David Swanson. Dustin Evan Keith Gooley. Anthony Wayne Turner, Jr. Morgan Leanne Holscher, cum laude. Tavian Damar Darden. Henry Finn, cum laude. Liam Edward Rigsby. Leah M. Cruel, cum laude. Joseph William King. Adam Mackenzie Ray. Joshua Tyler Armour. 
Derek Sho Higuchi Evans, cum laude. Caleb M. Rudder. Michael Doer, magnu cum laude. Divinity A. Price, summa cum laude. Connor Michael Borowitz. Nicholas, or no, Nolan Thomas Croce, summa cum laude. Seneca Lynn Doty, magna cum laude, university honors. Kyle Alexander Selhorse, summa cum laude. Kyle Dopp, summa cum laude. This concludes the recognition of the bachelor's candidates for the College of Technology, Architecture, and Applied Engineering. No? I'm sorry. Where's my, oh. Okay, Peter? Is, are you Peter, sir? Peter A. Rogers. Haley Marie Miller. Kristen Leah Saru. Jason Edward Bowen. Mohammed Habib Al Yumaybid. Alan M. Stein. Joseph Neil Reem. Melissa Lee Schultz. Right, yeah. Ashley June Kimmel, magna cum laude. Amanda K. Miles. Kidron Philip Wechter. This concludes the recognition of bachelor's candidates for the College of Technology, Architecture, and Applied Engineering. Good morning. I'm Dr. Andrew Kurtz, Dean of Firelands College. President Rogers and members of the Board of Trustees, on behalf of the faculty of the Firelands College, I am pleased and honored to present these candidates and recommend them for degrees. Alejandra Valentin. Chloe Elizabeth Snook. Isabel Renee Rader. Haley Marie Patterson. Lauren M. N. Maynard. Courtney Ann Burdett. Lexi Catherine Edelman. This concludes the recognition of the baccalaureate and associate candidates for Firelands College. Thank you, Dean Kurtz, and all the deans for presenting your candidates for degrees. Will all the degree candidates please rise? Vice Chair Isley, 
It is my privilege to, pre to present these candidates to you on behalf of their faculty, advisors, and deans. I hereby recommend that the degrees be conferred upon them as indicated in the official program. On the recommendation of the faculty and by the virtue of the authority vested in me as Vice Chair of the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon each of you the appropriate degrees as listed in the official program with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Doctoral and master's degree candidate, candidates, congratulations. Baccalaureate and associate degree candidate, candidates, this is the appropriate moment for the symbolic change of the tassel from right to left. <laughs> to our newest alumni, let me be the first to welcome you to one of the most valuable perks a supportive network of more than 191,000 alumni around the world. I hope all of you have had the type of experience that empowers you to tell the BG story as you begin your next journey. Welcome to the Alumni Association of Bowling Green State University. And now, as alumni of Bowling Green State University, I ask you to join me in the singing of our alma mater. It is my pleasure to introduce you to the members of the men's chorus for this performance. Alumni, please be seated. President Rogers will now make final remarks. After the President's closing remarks, we ask our audience and guests to remain seated for the recessional while the platform participants, faculty, staff, and new alumni recess. So thank you, Chair Isley. Graduates, Today is your day, the pinnacle of your academic journey at Bowling Green State University. In 170 AD, Marcus Aurelius wrote, there is no impeding our intentions. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. You have taken action. You are clearly prepared to do amazing things in this next phase of your journey, and perhaps more so than many of our past graduates because of all that you have overcome. You've adopt, adapted, you've persevered, you have overcome all types of obstacles to earn this degree. You've been tested, you have found a way forward and are absolutely ready for what's next. And so as we close our 301st commencement ceremony, please remember 
The Bowling Green will always be one of your homes, and you will forever be welcome here as part of the Falcon family. And I ask you to stay engaged with both your classmates and the university that you have enriched, a university that is better because you chose to be here. You know, I'm reminded of a quote from Bowling Green's fourth president, Dr. Ralph McDonald. It's inscribed in the stonework of the Bowen Thompson Student Union. We are linked to this institution by invisible bonds that do not wither or dissolve. We are linked to this institution by invisible bonds that do not wither or dissolve. You see, your success is our success, and our success is your success. We are forever linked to this institution. And so as I look out to each of you, our newest alumni, I see the next generation of thought leaders, risk takers, visionaries, and I hope big dreamers. You are graduates of a public university ready to create public good by making a difference in your career, your family, in your alma mater, in your community, in the nation, and in the world. That is what you do. That is who we are. You are entering a new chapter in your life, and this chapter is yours to write. I cannot wait to see what you accomplish. It will be nothing less than extraordinary. Eyes
Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear? So let the lonely feeling wash away Cause maybe there's a reason to believe you'll be okay Cause when you don't feel